welcome back to yet another edition of uh, market outlook uh, this outlook is uh, for the week starting 10th june 2024 let's look at uh, nifty uh, last week was a very tumultuous uh, week with uh, all the election results and things like that we have seen this um, channel here uh, last in the last video <coughs> and this channel was broken on uh, on the day of the results that was uh, 4th of june and uh, promptly it came back so that seemed that means that this is a false uh, breakdown uh, nevertheless when it broke down in the super trend um, it should have the one of the supports was uh, 22092 which was touched the other support was here that is uh, 21402 which was also touched so i think uh, whatever correction was supposed to happen as far as technical analysis is concerned that was that was done now <coughs> what lies ahead uh, as you can see here this channel is uh, around and if the channel has to be broken then nifty has to close above this line of 23000 569 only when it breaks this barrier will the nifty start moving uh, to an all time high until then this will keep on repeating this channel will uh, it will keep on moving in this channel so probably uh, let's wait for the new budget uh, to see where the nifty takes us <coughs> but uh, as far as uh, this week is concerned we are still we are still going to be in this channel only. Well, that's it and done. Let's go to uh, Sensex. Sensex also there is a similar channel. So let me also dry, uh, draw that so that um, we have. Well, that's the channel uh, for. Uh, for sensex again <clears throat> it has been broken on the day of the results and then yesterday it has gone up so um, but i'm still not where i'm not still convinced about this breakout uh, this breakout had happened uh, also on 3rd of june so this is this breakout has happened um, uh, later on also on 6th of june but uh, i'm keeping my fingers crossed the uh, the channel is going to stay and uh, sensex is also going to move in the same channel Well, uh, Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty also has the same trend, you can see here the same channel and of course, um, we are there. <coughs> so again bank nifty will also be in the same range uh, so the next week's range can uh, be said that it is between uh, 50000 51000 and uh, 48300 so this is where uh, the market will keep flip flopping right now let's go to the stocks asian paints has given a breakout on uh, on 5th of june and then the target was very small 2981 which is already done uh, next target also is done 3034 now uh, i don't find uh, asian prints doing anything it will be sideways <coughs> being an fmcg stock uh, britannia went up uh, tremendously on uh, 4th of june uh, on 5th of june and then uh, here you can see that uh, 6th, 7th, 7th of June also <coughs> uh, Britannia has been doing well but if you are uh, holding Britannia then hold it and uh, the stop loss happens to be 5295 Sipla you can see a very nice uh, 
very nice formation here looks like a W uh, this also can be called as a rounding bottom um, once CIPLA breaks out of this 1511 uh, you can see something like 200 rupees uh, jump in CIPLA but it has to uh, break out of this uh, the all time high of uh, I think this was the all time high that is um, uh, 1503 happens to be the 15 yeah, 11th March 2024 it happens to be 1519 so I think um, if it breaks 1520 let's say you can find 200 rupees jump in uh, CIPLA of course it's on a medium term medium term level Aishar Motors um, It looks like similar like uh, nifty so uh, but i think the new target would be 4909 or something like that nestle has broken out of a triangle this triangle was drawn in the last video so you can see here uh, this breakout and then uh, only thing is it has to nestle has to break out of this uh, super trend that is um, 2518 once it breaks out then the target is uh, 2620 Grasim gave a scare on uh, 4th June but then from then it has uh, uh, recovered uh, so again the target is it has to cross this 2491 to really show something nice some nice move Hero Motor Corp has been doing extremely well. We can expect it to keep going up. You just have to, you just have to keep a stop loss of two five, two sorry five two nine zero, and uh, keep riding. Hindalco has not lost its sheen. It was supposed to lose on fourth uh, of June. It has not lost so. Uh, revise your stop loss to 655 and keep holding uh, it's on the way up Hindustan Unilever has done all that is possible this high is is going to be taken one more time so uh, keep invested go for this high of 2723 ITC uh, the news of demerger I think has uh, really helped the stock uh, it has to cross this uh, this high of uh, sorry this uh, super trend of uh, 442 once it crosses 442 then the target first target is 455 and then 480 and beyond LNT had the largest candle on 4th June. You can see here the high was 3898 and uh, the low was um, uh, 3403. Uh, sorry, 3320. And beyond that, again, next day on 5th of June, also there was a new low which was 3175. Now, uh, for, uh, for LNT to really pull back, it has to. Uh, at least to go half of this that is um, it has to cross 3622 at least to start the uh, to give a, a strong bullish signal uh, but I think it's on its way to do that <coughs> M&M has been doing well uh, just revise your stop loss to uh, 2614 and keep uh, invested Reliance gave a breakdown on the on the election results day, but it is back. So the new uh, <coughs> barrier uh, happens to be three zero six six. Once it crosses that, then it will be a blue sky zone for Reliance. Tata Consumers has given a breakout on fifth uh, of June, and uh, from there the t first target is already achieved. That is one one five eight. Now next target is going to be 1181. 
Tata Motors seems to be on the verge of giving you a breakout the day it it crosses and closes below now sorry the day it crosses and uh, closes above 991 uh, the next target would be 1050 Tata Steel is on the verge of breakout Tata Steel has to cross 179 and then it is in a blue sky zone Wipro has given a breakout very nice gap up opening on 7th June and then you can see here this candle this nice green candle the, so the next target next nearest target is 493 and then 516 Apollo Hospitals is sideways there is no trade unless it crosses this level of uh, 6151 Dr Reddy's has to give a breakout uh, if it gives a breakout it has, it has to cross uh, 6123 to give a breakout Wow this is something golden i think uh, Tata Titan has given a breakout on 7th June uh, time to buy uh, the stop loss is not yet uh, defined but the target is very clear target first target is 3517 uh 35 yeah the first target is uh 3517 and then uh, next target is something like uh, 3640 3643 or something like that. SBI also had a very bad day on 4 June after that it is trying to recover so it will take some time to recover and uh, cross this uh, line of 888 Sri Ram Finance is on the verge of a breakout of 2540 once it crosses 2540 you can expect uh, 2660 BBCL gave a scare on 4th June on the results on the election results day so now you can keep your you, now i am keeping my fingers crossed the um, of course it's not going to go down from here but it's going to take a long time to cross this level of 670 and go up Kotak Bank has given a breakout very quickly and that is going to be very good for kotak bank i think uh, we can expect uh, 1840 here on kotak bank any time soon well uh, infosys has given a breakout it's a fantastic breakout i think infosys the next target is 1600 we are at 1533 so 70 rupees from here and from there 1656 and then of course the high of 1731 bajaj finance has given a breakout that's a very good breakout very strong so you can expect a target of 7336 and beyond Adani is a very highly talked about script i think if it has to cross this uh, 3657 to give a real uh, boost sun pharma has not been doing anything uh, interesting there is no trade in it JSW steel uh, well it has to uh, if you bought it keep it um, keep a stop loss of um, 849 and uh, ride the wave
एच डी एफ सी बैंक इफ यू अवॉर्ड इट की पेट आई थिंक वन मोर ब्रेकआउट इज ड्यू एट फिफ्टीन एटी थ्री वंस दैट हैपन्स द नेक्स्ट टारगेट वुड बी दिस हाई दैट इज फिफ्टीन नाइन्टी नाइन एंड वंस दैट इज TCS is on a brink of a breakout. I think this is something interesting. Uh, Monday morning, if this breaks out, immediate target would be four thousand nine. Well, ICICI Bank has not been doing extremely well. It has the. Uh, June June fourth uh, candle is really really big. I think it will take some time to recover. So uh, full recovery will happen only when it touches one one seven zero. Same with power grid. It will take time to recover. Maruti did not. Uh, close below the super trend uh, so it did not give a sell signal even on the results day now you can be rest assured that it is poised for 15000 rupees on maruti indusind bank uh, the chart is very interesting uh, uh, but there are Uh, lower highs for the last one, two, three, four, five days. Uh, that's a very uh, concerning factor. So uh, keep a stop loss of um, of thirteen ninety nine. I think um, this is going to be a sideways move for a long time. Again, Axis Bank did not give uh, did not uh, fall below the. Uh, the super trend so that means the undercurrent is very strong so stay invested first target would be somewhere here that is uh, 1242 hcl tech has given a breakout uh, first target uh, 1463 and then 1543 ONGC will take some more time to uh, recover, so let's leave it, leave ONGC alone for some time. NDPC will take some time to recover, so let it, let us leave it alone. Coal India will also take some more time, so let us leave it alone. Bharti Airtel has to close above one four four five, and then there will be a breakout, and there is a blue sky zone over that. Tech Mahindra also has given a breakout, fantastic breakout on six seventh June, and then you can see this candle. Uh, <clears throat> next target is fourteen fifteen. LTIM also another IT stock which has given a good breakout. The next target is five one eight seven and five four zero six. Divi's Lab has been doing extremely well. Just revise your stop loss to four three nine three. Adani Ports will take some more time to recover. Let's not trade. HDFC Life keeps keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. Uh, don't look at the chart. Just keep buying. It's a very long term bet. SBI Life keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. There is no need to look at the chart. Uh, 
it's a very very long term bet Ultratech did not give you a scare on that day so that means this is something which is going to go uh, going to go, to go strong so target is one ten thousand five hundred twenty and from there and beyond yes Bajaj Auto is going to be a five figure uh, stock in the nearest time to come so the target is ten thousand it's going to happen very soon Bajaj Fincer is going to take some more time to recover uh, the breakout line is somewhere here that is uh, 1631 so another 80 rupees well we come to the end of this week's edition of uh, market outlook um, please like share and subscribe to this uh, channel and uh, help people invest and grow thank you very much